everybody. It's Tyler here at IRI, checking team number 2481, Roboteers coming out of Illinois. I've been a big fan of 2481 for a long time. You've probably seen a lot of behind the bumpers on it. And this year, the robot is absolutely awesome once again. A couple finalist appearances. I did had a deep run at championship as well, too. 2481, building great robots every single year. I love their super wide intake. Of course, we'll be following that complete robot journey through, talking about what's gone into this robot. Let's learn more about Roboteers coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Wesley, let's start out on this robot. Talking about the intake, I love super wide intakes, even for this year as well, too. Talk to me about some of the design philosophy, and then we'll go into the forks inside your robot also. So from the beginning of the season, we knew we wanted to be able to pick up a cone from any orientation on the ground. Uh, we thought that would be very valuable as we uh, scored pieces, uh, picking up any trash pieces that were dropped. Um, and it also allowed us to pick up from the single substation, which we knew would probably be a less popular uh, substation to pick up from and we are right about that so our uh, large intake has been great we can demonstrate it here how it picks up a cone so it's picked up the cone and now as we move inside the robot um, we have two forks in the bottom and what they do is they come out of the floor and pick up the flange on the bottom of this cone so whether the cone comes in point first or flange first, the forks always grab the bottom flange and flip it up onto the plate. And from there, we move on to the grabber. And I love that transition process, by the way, as it goes through. Just talk to me about, like, when you were looking at analyzing the game, what made you say, hey, picking up in any orientation is crucial for Roboteers, and how did you uh, uh, perfect that transfer that you have? So we don't like to waste time picking up pieces. Uh, that's why we knew the floor would be the fastest and easiest way. And the intake has been a lot of trial and error. Uh, we found out very quickly that it just takes a lot of wheels. So we have upwards of 60 wheels on the intake, and it's been very successful. So looking at uh, Nexus, we talked about the uh, grip area. Levi, talk to me more about uh, what's gone into uh, this uh, the scorpion's tail, as I hear on this, uh, and then uh, you know, looking at that transfer into there, this is uh, definitely more unique looking. I think uh, scoring mechanism I've seen. Talk to me more about it. So at the beginning of the season, we weren't quite sure how we wanted to pick it up, and it started with two like a claw design horizontally, but the problem with that is it kept getting stuck on the flippers because it would catch on each other and it wouldn't grip it quite enough. And a couple days before our competition, we had a long night, and we decided that we wanted to grab from the top so that it could stay out of the way from the flippers and still grab, grab it really hard so it would stick to it. So now it sticks to it so that it can come out and it no longer gets stuck. And it's just a lot better. But it, it's gone through a lot of design changes. As that goes into your uh, elevator as well, too, Sam, uh, talking about how that process gone through. You've got a lot of stages on this elevator, and I'd love to see the elevator come out and kind of show what a scoring situation looks like for you, too. Yeah, so our elevator has been uh, definitely one of those other things where we put a lot of work into it, um, various changes here and there. So it's a West Coast, made by West Coast Products. Um, and so we made a few modifications for it. Uh, there were some 3D printed parts, which we found early on that it would not hold up to the stresses of slamming in and out throughout the course of a match. Um, so we CNC'd our own plates. Um, and then we also put heavier duty springs on the elevator stages to help it snap out faster um, throughout the match. And the way we get our elevator back in is we have two straps on either side. And those straps run to uh, pulleys, you can see right there. And those pulleys are driven by one Falcon motor, which can pull it in in a matter of a second or two. So that's how we're able to get our elevator in and out. So can we see a demo bit and just kind of walk me through yeah. uh, some of the scoring stages? Sure. So that would be if we we're scoring on high. Um, and it's pretty much the same for high, low, or medium. Um, either way, we can 
just we have pre presets on the controller that will um, control which peg to drop it on. And this goes the same with cubes as well. As we start to wrap up on this robot, Andrew, talk to me about uh, what you're using for Swarm. I really like to hear uh, what you maybe modified off of the COTS uh, for it as well, too. Uh, so what are you using, and then what modifications do you do? So we started out the season with an MK2 Swerve module, and we didn't like how it affected because the frame would be too low, and we saw that the frame needed to be as high as it can for this season in order to be able to effectively get over the bump and onto the charge station. So we made custom top plates, so then our frame was included inside of the swerve module and not underneath the wheel. And we started off with two Falcons for drive and a bag motor for steer. We ran through an entire competition with it and we were browning out almost every match. The one good thing is it saved us a match because one of them fell out. So we had that backup always in to keep us going. Uh, since then we have switched it to just one Falcon for drive and just a regular bag for steer and it's been running perfectly ever since. Well, 2041, a fantastic machine once again. Uh, also, do you want to point out, we don't do too much on pit uh, tours as well, but you guys do have one of the coolest features of a pit uh, with a nice uh, love seat couch over here, so got to give you props for that. I did sign it super comfy for what it is. Uh, so congratulations on a great season, and uh, good luck here at IRI. Look forward to future seasons. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.